Howdy y'all. Um, I was banging my head against uh, dispatchers and blueprints communications. So once I figured out dispatchers to a certain point, I figured I'd share and keep it as simple as possible and straight to the point. So um, what I want to do is create a box that has a dispatcher that calls, uh, that talks to another box that is waiting and ready for the dispatcher to talk to it. So anyways, this is a basic blueprint scene. Um, nothing to it whatsoever. I'm just going to create a new folder real quick that's just called my shit. That'll work. Um, anyways, so now we create a new blueprint class and then we create an actor. So pretty basic so far. We'll call this actor object um, A. So just OBJ A. And then we'll open that up by double clicking on it and bring it up here. And so now um, we need to have some sort of object for it to collide with. So we'll just say add new component cube. We'll just drag it up a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so now that we have a cube in here, we want to create, um, let's see, where'd it go? Uh, a dispatcher, right? So over here in the blueprints, da -da -da, we have just your regular blueprints, and we're going to create a dispatcher. And we'll call this um, object a dispatcher. And so there it is. And we drag and drop it out here. And we say call. And then so we need something for when this object, something has to happen to this object for it to call the dispatcher. Um, we could make it a button push, but I'm going to make it so when we shoot it. Um, and that is a simple on hit or event hit, sorry. Um, so on event hit, so we're going to make sure to um, document this real well, or make sure it relays a message to us real well. So event hit call dispatcher, but we want to keep track of everything, so we're going to say print string. And we're just going to put one in between that says um, object A was hit calling dispatcher so there's that and we're gonna make this stay on screen for a little bit longer than normal um, so anyways so right now it does that and then we want when it's done for it to tell us hey it finished calling the dispatcher so I'll put another print string down over here um, yeah just trying to keep this as simple as possible and documented so you see exactly what's happening and we'll call this uh, dispatcher finished um, within object A. So we finished the dispatcher and we are inside object A so that you know which object you're calling this. Uh, we'll also add this, eh, we'll leave that fine. So that way you know you're in object A when it's finishing up. Um, so right now, it's just, whoop, I gotta add it to the scene. Um, so here's this guy right there. It's just a little box. We'll hit play right now. It says dispatcher, oops, I forgot to uh, add a little bit more time to this one as well. So we'll just, da, da, da. there we go. Compile, save, and play. So right now we shoot it. It says object A was hit, calling dispatcher and dispatcher finished with an object A. However, that's just what's going on here. Um, what we want is it to be able to call a different object or actor or blueprint anything. So now what we need to do is create a new blueprint class um, and it's going to be an actor, um, just to keep it simple, and we'll call this object B. So we open up object B and we say, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the old one was a box, we'll make this one a sphere. So here's our little sphere so we can see what it is. And then, um, let's see, compile and save, just because I like to do that far too much, I'm certain. It's so now over in the blueprint editor. Um, we need a way to reference or talk about object A in here, because right now, 
it, it doesn't know object A. So what we're going to do is um, create a variable and we're going to call it object A type variable. So it's a variable of object type A. So over here we're going to inside of a uh, variable type we're going to look for object A and there it is. So now um, oh also in order to make sure that it is actually looking at object A this one um, what we need to do um, and I could be doing this totally wrong but this is the quickest best way I understood it so what we need to do is drag in an object B um, so there the two objects are and on object B um, this object A type variable we need to make it editable so that we can have it point at object A um, and it's not private so we say compile and save and now when we come out here and in this list we select object B now it has this object A type variable and we want it to point at object A, the box over here so we're in the circle settings or the spheres and selected its object A type A variable to you know go ahead and look at object A over here even though we're on object B so now we go back into object B now that we have this variable set up and oops where how'd it go let's see so first we need to bind uh, the um, dispatcher to work within object B so we're going to do that at the very beginning of the whole thing so the event begin play at the very beginning um, we want to say bind to uh, oh yeah I forgot it's not going to show up until we drag this in so we say get it and so now this is a properly working reference to object A the cube and so we can say um, was it bind uh, bind the event object uh, to object A dispatcher so we plug it in here and now at the beginning of the whole play it's gonna go ahead and bind a dispatcher but it needs to know from what thing out there so here's object A and it's binding this event to work within object B so um, the event that it's going to call we're just gonna create a custom event down here so here's our we'll call it um, object B custom event so there it is and just to know that it fired off all we're gonna do is say uh, print string just to keep it all nice and nice and simple and we'll make sure that it whoop, make sure that it displays for long enough Do -do. Yeah. and we say we'll say um, uh, object A dispatcher um, ex executed executed um, or no sorry object whoops object B custom event called via dispatcher within um, object B. So it's the object B custom event and we're calling it via the dispatcher within object B. Just to make it super duper clear we compile and save and now when we hit play and we shoot this one see there in the messages now it says dispatcher finished with object or sorry object A was hit calling dispatcher object B custom event costume <laughs> custom <laughs> spelled wrong custom event uh, called via dispatcher within object B so that's the key now we're inside of object B and the event dispatcher now that it's referenced in properly um, was able to trigger and you're within object B and then it goes back and finishes the dispatcher call inside of object A so that's it's kind of I might just be making a dispatcher a public function 
But in any event, I got one object to call another object, and the thing about the dispatcher is you can apply that across a whole bunch of things. So it's one, something happens to one object, and you could have it happen to, you know, a, a myriad of these guys, or other guys, or whatever you want. And yeah, see now it's calling all those. So it's one guy needing to call, let everybody else know this thing happened and having those guys react. Um, whereas a public function is more so um, one guy letting one other guy know, hey, this thing happened. Um, you know, let's let's talk about it. So, anyways, um, there's happy functioning uh, dispatcher. Hopefully that was short and to the point, and hopefully that helps some people out there because I was banging my head against this for a while. So, in any event, have a